Hey YouTube, Dub K Dad, broadcasting from probably the saltiest place on earth. Yeah, I'm pretty salty about the state of the game. Seems like top decks all have two, three card combos that OTK or put you in such a bad position or put themselves in such an amazing position with little to no investment. And it's like it's really hard for a creative deck builder for you know somebody who likes to build decks take something that nobody knows cards that are very little used and you know come up with something without fearing it's okay this is really cool and this has a really good matchup versus rabbit but if I go against insectors you know I don't have the protection I might be able to veil that dragonfly but can I really put anything on the board to kill that dragonfly and make sure they don't drop another dragonfly in the next turn? You know, and it's, you know, being playing in that kind of game is pretty freaking stale. You know, the random book in the background, this is my big old school Ultra Pro binder with the zippers. You guys remember those back in the day? Had like the little pockets on the side right there. You put all your little decks and stuff in there. And this thing has <laughs> ass load of pages. I don't trade out of this book, but it just gives you guys something to look at uh, while I dish out the salt. There's stuff that I can't get, make myself trade away. There's stuff I hold on to, you know, stuff like Wise Men Chalice, and Place of the Creeping Darkness, and my Magical Planners, and... I just feel that, you know, some cards are just worth holding on to. You never know. It might get broken one day. You know, my Ulti Zeradius, Ulti Archfiend, my two first hit, Exile Forces. I only have two shiny gear freeze. I can't find my third one. I know I have a third one. It's probably under something or behind something. But anyway, back to the salt of the earth. <laughs> um, I know it's really stupid. Um, guys know that I don't post too often. I know I've dropped a couple hundred subscribers because I don't post often enough. Um, people are waiting on part two of my Gigavice Wombo combos. Well, since I'd made that video, Konami released the information that there's no longer ignition priority. Do you know how bad it sucks to summon a lone fire and then get it veilered and then get OTK'd the next turn? You know how bad that sucks? That's like ridiculously so bad. So that's why there hasn't been a part two. I just didn't feel like uploading a video about a deck that no longer functioned. I mean, it's and, and it's kind of shitty to say, but I mean, I wouldn't be doing myself or you guys justice by saying, yeah, look at this cool deck that gets ass raped. Yeah, man. So, so yeah, that's why. You won't be seeing a part two to that. You know, it's also kind of hard to just make decks. I mean, here's the, as you can see, I disassembled my Phoenix Down deck. Um, it had an amazing rabbit matchup. I just raffle stomp rabbit, raffle stomp heroes, raffle stomp grave keepers. But I tell you what, those insectors, it was so bad. The deck doesn't have anything big to normal summon to beat over a freaking centipede. If my opponent got a centipede and no back rows, and I didn't have the combos to go off, he could just poke all day with that damn centipede, and I couldn't do anything about it. 1,600 attack was too big. And if he had back rows, oh my god, I couldn't even drop a quick draw play, because he was just warning <laughs> my quick draw, or wait for the wait for me to synchro, then warning, and then I was just screwed. Uh, even with my updated version with the car car Ds, you know, I draw into the MSTs, but I can never have enough MSTs for all the damn back row. And while I was waiting on the MSTs, you know, I got the Dragon's Excalibur, Gigamantis, Ladybug, Herp Did Herp Up Your Butt. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm full of salt, man. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that shit didn't work. So, so yeah, all my quick draw shit is in, in this book now. I'm the retired. My Photon beat down. It's... It's retired a long time ago when I was really, really bad at the game. I'm just bad at the game, but when I was really, really bad, 
I ran Arch Fiends, it was my uh, Terra Kings. From the Go format, still got my first Ed, Masur Priest. Um, I don't know why I held on to this piece of shit card. What is that thing called? Garnish. Gar Garnicea Elephantis. Sounds like something. So kind of, sounds like kind of, some kind of fungus that grows in between your <laughs> your ass cheeks. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, holding on to these. I don't know why. Card's really bad. But I don't know. They might get good. Miraculously, the format might, you know, slow to a crawl. You know, they put Dragonfly to one. Not Hornet. I mean, they need Hornet. The deck needs Hornet. It's Dragonfly is the problem. Dragonfly is the freaking problem in that deck. And Rescue Rabbit is the problem in, in um, Dino Rabbit. Future Fusion is the problem in Dragons. The drag that Chaos Dragon deck is a is a really really good deck. I can't play the deck because I open hands like Double Red MD, Light Pulsar, Chaos Sork, and two Dark Flare, and then for my turn I draw Heavy Storm, <laughs> and then for my turn I draw Monster Reborn. So, oh, I reborn their monster, <laughs> and they bottomless bottomless their own monster. I'm like, oh yeah, that's so amazing. So yeah, I can't run that deck, but Future Fusion if if the Chaos Dragon player resolves the Future Fusion, you might as well scoop it up because they turn the graveyard into a toolbox and it's just GG from there. There's this point of no return. And if they happen to get the 5 8 Dragon because you can't draw the MST, you know, the one deck where you don't need MSTs against, you can't draw it <laughs> to get rid of that damn Future Fusion. And then they have that 5,000 beat stick along with their other dragons and other stuff so uh yep i uh, don't know why i still have this ulti first ed chaos king archfiend i don't know i thought it might it might get good one day i don't know where the rest of my first edition super rare trap holes are i got a bunch of them somewhere in a box so yeah, i got all those monster boxes over there each of them hold a couple thousand cards. Um, I don't know. Chivalry. I'm still holding on to Chivalry. The card might be good. I don't know. Some Japanese cards. I used to love this card back during DDT. I don't, not very many people play this card. I did with Reasoning Gate. You had Triple Reasoning, Triple Monster Gate. You drop this. Pitch a Phoenix Blade. Get back your Stratos and go ham. Or get back your Demock and go ham. Oh my god. Shit was good times. That. These two. Oh my goodness. These two cards and uh, Reasoning Gate were just sick. But y'all don't know nothing about that. What y'all know about that? <laughs> my mind on errors. <laughs> Card is so bad. Uh, oh yeah, okay. So more salt and pepper. Uh... I don't know what do you guys what do you guys experience? I'm not talking about the guys who have their fully blinged out Dino deck or Insector deck or even a new Hieratic deck. And I'm not diminishing the the quality of those decks, the capability of the players of those decks. I'm just saying that as a player who can afford any card in the game, has access to any card in the game. I like to be creative and I just can't use a creative deck because it doesn't compare to the power level of those decks. And you know, that's annoying. I mean, who? I, I hate playing mirror matches. Oh my God, I hate playing mirror matches so bad. I remember one event, I uh, took Black Wings back when Gale was at three. I think I told a story before. And it's just mirror match after mirror match. And I was just so mad. One game, I opened triple, triple whirlwind, triple whirlwind, blizzard, um, allure, and um, heavy storm. So I go heavy storm, and my opponent chains trap death shoot. I'm like, awesome, <laughs> awesome. So yeah. I think I went like 
OX drop <laughs> that that event because uh, yeah, black wings are just this weren't my thing. Can't play meta decks; they don't like me. Um, I don't know. Some of these cards like I said are really really bad. But we'll just speed it up here. I don't know why I'm holding on to them. I mean, in theory, this card is still good. In theory, but you know, strike ninjas. I really was hoping that Light Ray Greffer would make Cure as a really good card, but the problem I'm having is when I revive him or summon him and I'm blowing up cards and drawing cards, what am I actually hoping to draw into? <laughs> what exactly is my win condition? Because you have to run so many cards just to make this card live. So you got your Light Ray Greffers, you got your Divine Swords to get this guy removed, you got your DDRs. Uh, you got your back row removal, you got your accelerators to get set up, you know, for for those kids who don't know accelerators, those are, you know, your search cards, Rota, Pot of Duality, Card Cardi, whatever, whatever, whatever you need to get through your deck faster to get to the combo pieces, those are called accelerators. It's a Magic the Gathering term, whatever, whatever, whatever. But, um, so yeah, after all this, what am I digging for? I try to, I try to go Light Ray Sorcerer because it's really easy to get all my monsters removed, you know, play... Play Charge, Light Brigade, Mill, Jane, Aaron, whatever. And Mill, of, Mill, Mill of Phoenix Blade, you know, add it to my hand. You know, Sorcerer's Condition is almost met. You know, Summon Light Ray Greffer, Pitch, Pitch a Light, Remove from Play, Curaz, drops, Drop uh, Light Ray Sork, do some shit. Play DDR, get back my Curaz, blow up two. You don't want to blow up my opponent's stuff, because I don't want them drawing, but then... I blow up my stuff. I'm like, okay, so what am I hoping to draw? <laughs> so I just don't really know where to go with that concept. Man, I remember where I used to really like this card. This card I came in a structure deck, that um, Warrior Structure deck. I have two of these shits. Ulti, they're so old. This one is first edition. Let me fix the ratio. There we go. This one's first edition. But, um, I'm just gonna just talk. I figured if, if Cody, aka Great Fails Montana, can flip his hair for 20 minutes and get views, then I can just be salty as fuck on camera, showing off my binder full of really, really bad cards that I'm holding on to for no reason, like my, um, ultra rare. Gaia, dude, whatever. <laughs> and my Japanese landmine, widespread ruin looking thingies. And then I can get some views. Complaining and whining about the state of the game. And showing off my really bad cards like my question. And my black pendant. <laughs> So we, I know so I was at locals and somebody was like, "What is this card? Is that card good?" I was like, "Yeah, dude, this card is totally good. Will you trade it?" I said, "No, nah, man, I can't trade it." And my teammates were like, "Man, trade that shit. The card is garbage." And no, it's in my binder. I don't trade anything out of this binder. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving on. So I got a couple of dual videos that I've recorded over the past few weeks. I think I've recorded maybe three hours of duels and I just haven't uploaded because while I'm playing I lose in all of them just by, just to let you know I'm trying different ideas and different decks and I'm just like so mad I'm like why is this not working I'm playing against fast decks playing against slow decks and I'm just not drawing or I go off of my combo and then it's like wow went off of my combo and I have 100 life points left I'm like fuck and then they dropped the dark hole. It's my fault for overcommitting, yeah, without game. But you know, when your opponent overcommits and you know they put all the damage on board, you can't come back. So you never had that dark hole you needed. But for some reason, your opponent has a dark hole. And I remember uh, your Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Don't you need a freed? I have several. I have a play set and more in this book somewhere. So if you need one, hit me up. I'll send you one for that chaos monster mash thingy that you uploaded um more bad cards 
I remember this card was the shit. I had a used to have a play set of these back during the GB format. You know, you you would set uh, the mirror match. You set to reflection seduction. The opponent would attack with their GB. This would flip. You take it. Then in the battle phase, you tag out for your GB. And I had a play set of this. This is my unlimited one, but my two first ads, I sold them both for uh, twenty bucks. Like. Psh, 20 bucks for bad ultimates. Yeah, I'll get there. And I got there. <laughs> and now the card is shit again. I think it's worth maybe a quarter. But I got my 20 bucks. I probably still have the $20 somewhere. There's my Quack and Mirrors. They'll never get good because they need too many pieces. I've tried so many different variations with the X Saber Invoker and just like Rock Stun. And people swear, oh, my Rock Stun, it beats all the top tier decks because what I do, shut the fuck up. You know, if you draw amazing and they draw shitty, or you have the Guardian at the key time where they only have one way to set your Guardian off or something, then yeah, you're amazing at this game. But if you're like me and you set two and you summon Guardian, they go Storm, Dark Hole, uh, Dragonfly, Zectalibur, GG, then, you know, you know, get that shit out of here. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> it's like that Gene Wilder meme on the internet. Ooh, tell me more about how amazing you are at this game. Uh, yeah, more Quacky Mirror shit. Um, I think we're getting, at the end, getting to the end. We're finally getting that new Blackwing card. So... That's going to be pretty cool. And I got a bunch more shit, but I'm tired. I just got off of work. So I'll show you the rest some other day. Deuces.